expanding the accounting equation. Last video, we explored the accounting equation and discovered that the assets equal our liabilities plus our owner's equity. In this video, we're going to expand that a little bit more. We're going to include our revenue and our expenses. First of all, let's simplify this a little bit. Assets equal our liabilities plus our owner's equity. A equals L plus OE. Owner's equity at the end of the period is made up of our beginning owner's equity plus any profit less any drawings. So let's add our profit to the accounting equation. We know our profit is our revenue less our expenses. So let's change that profit to reflect that. So our assets equal our liabilities plus our owner's equity plus our revenue less our expenses. Returning to the scale analogy again, we can now get this to balance. Assets equals our liabilities plus our owner's equity plus our revenue less our expenses. Now we can add expenses to both sides. So now that we have an equation that looks like our assets plus our expenses equals our liabilities plus our owner's equity plus our revenue. So this is our new accounting equation. Assets plus our expenses equals our liabilities plus our owner's equity plus our revenue. Let's utilize the scales again to study the effects on this new accounting equation with our assets and our expenses on the left and our liabilities, owner's equity and revenue balancing out on the right. Our sole trader completes a job and is paid 5000 on the spot by a client. The job being completed is revenue. And of course, we now have more money in our bank account, which is an asset. Bringing our accounting equation back into balance. The business pays the staff their weekly wages. This is a cost of running the business, so it's an expense. But also, we're going to pay money from our bank account, so we're going to reduce that asset. And again, our accounting equation is balancing. Our sole trader competes another job but this time the customer promises to pay the money next week. The job completed is revenue. And the business will record the money owing as an asset called debtors or accounts receivable. Returning our accounting equation back into equilibrium. In our next video, we're going to look at debits and credits and how this ties into the accounting equation that we've just learnt about. Remember to hit like if you found this helpful. Click on the link below for the next video in the series. Join us in an introduction to debits and credits.